Right to Acquire, a great scheme that will allow many people to become homeowners. It isn't to be confused with a very similar scheme called Right to Buy. Now I have done a video on Right to Buy as well, so after you've watched this one, make sure you go and watch the other ones so you know the differences and which scheme is applicable to yourself, and I'll put a link up on screen now for that one. What is Right to Acquire? So Right to Acquire allows eligible housing association tenants to buy the current house they are in at a discount. This discount is between £9,000 and £16,000. The exact amount will depend on the area that you live in. And yes, you can use this discount to form some or all of the deposit. The purchase can be funded using a mortgage. So whether you will have to put in additional funds as well as using the discount will depend on the terms of the mortgage you are able to obtain. So you can apply to buy your housing association house if you have had a public sector landlord for a minimum of three years. These landlords include housing associations, councils, the armed services, NHS trusts and foundation trusts and it does only apply in England. So if you're in Wales or Scotland, I'm sorry, you're not eligible. So what properties are eligible for right to acquire? So the house must have been built or bought before March 1997 and funded through a social housing grant provided by the housing corporation or local council. And it needs to have been transferred from the council to the housing association after March 1997. Your landlord needs to be registered with the regulator of social housing and the home you want to buy must be a self-contained property and your main home and you can't currently own any other properties. So what if you want to make a joint application? Well yes you can do but there are certain criteria. So you can do this with anyone that shares the tenancy with you and you can add up to three family members onto the purchase provided they have all lived in the property for a minimum of 12 months even if they don't share your tenancy agreement. So who doesn't qualify for right to acquire? Well, you can't use it if you've been made bankrupt, if a court has ordered that you must leave the home, if you're a currently a council tenant. Now, that, this is where the right to buy scheme fits in, so do make sure you watch the two videos, speak to your landlord and see which one you're eligible for. That being said, if you qualify for right to buy, you can't use right to acquire, and also if you have preserved right to buy, which is covered in the other video, you can't also use right to acquire. So say you've made use of right to acquire in the future and you want to sell, what are the restrictions? Well, firstly, if you sell within 10 years, you must firstly offer the property back to your old landlord, but you would have to sell it to them as you'd want at full market price. If you can't agree on the price with your old landlord within the 10 years, then a district market valuer will set a price and that is the price you have to sell it at. But this is a free valuation. If the landlord then declines to buy the house back, you are free then to sell it on the open market to whoever you like. Now there are also restrictions on what you would have to pay back if you were to sell it within five years of you making use of the right to acquire. And we'll put these up on screen, I'll just run through them now. If you sell in the first year, you would have to repay all the discount you got and it is a percentage. So if you did get a 10% discount whatever that was at the time but then you then sold for more you would pay 10% back of the actual selling price and then as time progresses the amount you have to pay back reduces so in the second year it's 80% of the discount the third year 60% of the discount fourth year 40% of the discount and in the fifth and final year 20% of the discount after that there's no restrictions so how do you apply if you want to know if you're eligible for right to acquire? Well, there's an application form that you need to download. I'll put this link in the description. It's called the RTA1 form. You complete this form and you send it into your landlord. If you're then granted right to acquire, the next stage is it's just the same as when you're buying any house, whether you're using a scheme or not. You then speak to a mortgage advisor and see if they can obtain you the mortgage you need to make the transaction happen. And if they can, you then put a full application in, instruct solicitors and go through the normal house buying process. That being said, I think it's probably also worth you speaking to a mortgage advisor probably before you even get right to acquire because if you can't get the mortgage that you need, you're wasting your time and your landlord's time filling in the forms. So it's always a good idea to have that initial chat with a mortgage advisor. So guys, I hope you found that video useful. The one thing I would say is it can get confusing between the two schemes, right to acquire and right to buy. There is a little bit of a crossover and sometimes depending if you're a council tenant now or in the future, in the past, it can be a bit blurry. So watch both videos, speak to your landlord. They will advise you of what you are eligible for. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.